New Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda visited Nissan Motors' Yokohama factory Monday, discussing industrial policy with CEO Carlos Ghosn and Chief Operating Officer Toshiyuki Shiga. Noda, Japan's sixth Prime Minister since 2006, and a former finance minister, has voiced concern about Europe's sovereign debt crisis as well as the strong yen, but has expected domestic growth to strengthen. Nissan CEO toured the Yokohama plant with Noda, discussing how the Japanese currency has affected manufacturers. I did not try to give a very long list of problems to the Prime Minister. I tried to focus on what, in my opinion, is the major uh, problem that the industry is facing, and it is the uh, unrealistic level of the exchange rate, uh, which is hampering Japan. The yen's rise to record highs has threatened to slow Japan's recovery and prompted some manufacturers to shift operations overseas. Nissan has pledged to make one million cars domestically, but CEO Gon said he hoped the government would take measures to aid Japanese exporters. We wanted to convey to the Prime Minister that if this situation continues, well, it's going to be very difficult for us to continue to allocate a new project to Japan and to maintain Japan as our main base of technology and our main base of manufacturing. But at the end of the day, it was a message of hope, it was a message of support, it was a message that we are ready to fight, we are ready to compete, but remove some of the obstacles in front of us. And the most important one is the abnormally high level of the exchange rate. The NOTA government is expected to submit a $130 billion disaster reconstruction bill next month, and while Nissan and other Japanese car makers have already returned to pre-quake output levels, they are eyeing industry-supportive policies ahead.